What's up, dudes? We're the Cool, cool Cannon Trifecta. Trifecta. This is our fourth vlog on reflection. The firing of our cannon didn't go so well. When Jackson stepped up to hold the cannon and fire it, nothing happened. Mr. Kelly said that this was probably because of backdraft, and he also said that most of the other people didn't have theirs fire either because of the same reason. In the reflection, we'll talk about how we could have improved the process and improved our design, possibly making it fire. Hey guys, Ethan here. So I'm going to talk about how I thought our project went and um, our reflection, um, my part of our reflection. So I feel like overall our project went well. Um, even though our cannon did not fire, I think we learned a lot during this process. Some skills that I personally have learned include things such as chemical skills, the pressure of Boyle's Law, and other skills include math, figuring out the best angle, technology, editing and uploading these videos, and communication, like right now I'm speaking in front of this camera and that um, is teaching me these communication skills. Um, I think that some things we did well in our projects, this research and planning went well, we divided the tasks and got the work done pretty well. And I think we began to have some issues when we had to build the cannon together at the same time on camera where we all had to come together and build it, whereas prior to that we'd been just dividing up the tasks and that went well. Um, we ended up finishing the build, but unfortunately it did not fire. So um, there could be a lot of different reasons for this. The obvious and primary reason was that there was not enough pressure to fire the ball at the cannon. Um, pressure could have been lost different ways. The cannon was not airtight maybe. The pressure could have been lost that way. Or the pressure could have been there, but just not directed properly. So maybe it went the wrong direction and we couldn't push the ball out correctly. Um, there could be many reasons, but all in all, there was just not enough pressure to project the ball out of the cannon. So that was my part of the reflection. Um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for tuning into all our videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, I'm Chase. I think that overall our project went well. As Ethan said, even though our cannon didn't fire, we went a long way in teamwork. There were definitely times when I could have done better to benefit the group, but overall I think it went well. I think that the reason our cannon didn't fire is because of the pressure plate. I think that the hole in the plate was either too small or the plate wasn't positioned properly. Mr. Kelly mentioned that there was a lot of backdraft and I think that could be linked to the pressure plate holding back the force that we needed to fire the ball. If I were to do this project again, I would redesign the plate or remove it altogether. Another problem we had in the making of our cannon was the angle. We realized part of the way through that the angle was not correct, so we had to hold it ourselves in order to get the right 45 degree angle. In the event that our cannon did fire, we could have made our cannon taller, which could have added more distance. But like I said, overall, I think our group did well communicating and getting things done. Also, I think that what matters is that like, we could probably improve the cannon and make it fire next time. Maybe, you know, put the pressure hole at a different place and uh, maybe put more pressure. So, yeah. Right. That was our last vlog on reflection. Thanks for watching, bros. And goodbye from the Cool Cannon Trifecta.